going to tell you a story about a boy and how his decisions determined his outcome. It all started on an autumn night, afraid of getting jumped because he couldn't fight. He came home late from school, always be home by 10, his mom told him that rule. In a bad neighborhood where people sell rock and get killed, he knew this wasn't a game and it's time to get real. He walked around, his head held high and a heart of steel. When he got to his house, he heard faint cries from the bedroom. His mama called out, Malcolm, Malcolm, I need you. So he heavily ran upstairs. His mother was in trouble, for he was now aware. But her body was on the floor, helplessly locked Mom. there. Mom, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Mom. How's she doing? It doesn't look like she's doing too good. Do you want me to leave and give you guys some privacy? Yeah, that'll probably be best. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mom. I know you probably can't hear me right now, but... I want you to know that I got you. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get the money for this operation. It's pretty hefty, but... But you're my mom, and I, I can't lose you, okay? I'm not going to lose you, because I'm going to do whatever it takes. I got you. After he found out the cost to keep his mom off her deathbed, he had to find a way to come up with the money. The doctor suggested a loan shark, just to be funny. But Malcolm thought it was a good plan, so he met with a guy named Alberto. People call him the money man. So I'm here. Um, what do you think you can do to help me with my mom? His name is James Clark. He stole a substantial amount of money from me. If you take care of him, I'll make sure your mother's taken care of. So what you're saying is... I kill this man and my mom will be okay you take care of him and your mother will be taken care of for life I guess I'll do it I gotta do anything to keep my mom alive she's the one I love the most so I'll, I'll do anything you want all right kid you got yourself a deal so he took the job to save his mother because he loved her endlessly like no other. So he killed a man and his friend just so his mom would not meet her unfortunate end. They found the wallet at the crime scene. They aired it on the news. Malcolm didn't know what to do. He was so confused. So he turned himself in. He knew that his life in jail was about to begin. In the courtroom, his mother drenched in tears as the judge sentenced Malcolm to 25 years. But it was the poetry that got him through it. Making rhymes and stories to get by. Making life-changing poems that will make your heart numb and it's 25 years later, so we know his outcome. I just got one more thing to say. Hello, my name is Malcolm.